Isabella Bomfrey was born in New York in 1797. She was sold from her family at around the age of nine. Isabella was sold three times. The first time in 1806 for $100. The second time in 1808 for $105. And finally, the third time in 1810 for $300. Isabella was promised freedom on July 4, 1826. However, her latest master, John Dumont, did not keep his word. Soon after, she escaped with her daughter Sophia and said, I did not run off, for I thought that was wicked. But I walked on, believing that to be all. Soon, she arrived at the home of Isaac and Maria Van Wagner. Once there, she sought the help of the Quakers to retrieve her son, Peter, who was illegally sold into slavery. Five months later, she got her son back. During her time with the Van Wagners, Isabella became inspired to preach. She attended the local Methodist church and became a remarkable preacher. In 1843, she officially changed her name to Sojourner Truth. Sojourner means traveler, and truth means to be real or genuine. In 1844, she joined the Northampton Association of Education and Industry in Massachusetts, where she met some famous abolitionists like Frederick Douglass and William Lloyd Garrison. In 1850, she spoke to the public about anti-slavery and women's rights. In 1854, at the Women's Rights Convention in Ohio, she gave her legendary speech entitled, Ain't I a Woman? Ain't I a Woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns, and no man could heed me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne thirteen children and seen most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. Then that little man in black there, he says women can't have as much rights as men cause Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. Sojourner spoke for the Union and for enlisting black troops for the cause of freeing slaves. Her final mission before death was to travel to the North and help ex-slaves build new lives. Sojourner Truth died on November 26, 1883, aged 86, and although her spirit was gone, her actions would forever be remembered. As with other slaves, Sojourner had been through the darkest periods of slavery, but she did not stop after she was free. She continued to endeavor troubles she faced and spoke out against the problems of slavery. This remarkable woman opened the door to end slavery and emphasize women's rights and inspired other fantastic women that we see today and made them realize that they are equal to men.